Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This lecture is an anatomi anatomical uh, lecture for the second grade Medical College of Iraqiya University. Uh, we will uh, start to describe the anatomy of the uh, abdominal part of the esophagus and the uh, stomach. Before entering into the, these organs to be uh, discussed anatomically, I want you to return to read in previously the last year I gave you the divisions of the abdomen into nine anatomical abdominal pelvic regions uh, by the two right and left mediclavicular lines and, and by the upper horizontal transpyroric line and the lower horizontal transtubercular line we will have division of the abdomen into nine abdominal pelvic regions Ilihua, hypochondriac with the epigastrium umbilical and the lumbar pubic and the inguinal regions we should read it out of the regions and uh, now when we will describe each organ present inside the abdomen we will describe its site according to the abdominal region it is present in and some of the organs will occupy more than one region يعني احنا ما راح نلقي مثلا واحد من عندهم مختصر فقط على مثلا the lumbar region راح نلقاه من جد اذا hypochondriac شويه الامبلايكال but we will talk mainly يعني mainly it occupy this region so when I say مثلا for the esophagus today that it will occupy the epigastric region if you do not uh, have an idea about the abdominal regions uh, you will do you will not know what I am talking about فأريدك ترجع على المحاضرة الأولى introduction اللي انطيناها سواء بالنظري أو بالعملي للمرحلة الأولى وترجع على التقسيم التشريحي للبطن والحوض شون قسمناه إلى تسع مناطق حتى من نذكر الريجن you are aware about طبعا بالنسبة هواية سيسألون إنه ما ذكرنا لحد الآن البريتونيال كابتي والبريتونيوم اللي بداخله uh, I will uh, further يعني من راح نشرح organ organ uh, and how we نوقف على بعض الأمور uh, وبعدين كلها ألم لك إياها سوى ونشرح البريتونيال كابتي with the spaces present in لأنه شفت إنه إذا ندخل بالبريتونيوم ونشرح الباوتشز والجاترز والريجنز والليجمنتس الموجودة and you still do not know the organs where it is where is it's anatomical position I think we will be a little uh, confused about it so لا تخاف أكو بالأخير من ألم لك كلها حتى أنت من راح تجي تقرأ هسه اليوم إحنا راح نشرح abdomen and abdominal esophagus and stomach من راح تجي تقرأ 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 راح تجي تلقي حاجة على spaces gutters uh, present around surrounding these organs I will mention them in the lecture مرور الكرام هيجي راح أذكرها بس بعدين بالأخير آخر شيء راح نجي نلمها كلها هذه السبيسز الموجودة وصدقني بيجي طريقة راح تكون very easy for you you will be oriented about what we are talking about نرجع هسا بالنسبة إلى الإيسوفيغس we studied the إيسوفيغس also the last year uh, last year in the thorax because the esophagus we all know it has a thoracic part and an abdominal part وتمام الثوراسيك بارت اللي هو هذا ثوراسيك طبعا the esophagus is about 25 سنتيمتر uh, in length أنا مرة قلت فد معلومة قلت إنه أغلبية الأشياء بال أغلبيتها يعني in the body it is about 25 سنتيمتر I don't know why but هو هذا الرقم uh, 25 centimeter the length of the esophagus uh, the thoracic part uh, is a present وبعدين when it reaches to the diaphragm it will pierce through the esophageal opening uh, أيضا نرجع على هاي احنا انطيناها العام بالثورax ترجع the openings in the diaphragm are three esophageal opening, aortic opening and caval opening 
وأني حفظتك أعتقد بوقتها قلت لك إنه إيسوفيجس لأنه نقدر نتخيل إنه تبدي بحرف O فا it is at the level of T10 عشرة فهذه الأو حتى لا تنساها بعدين راح يصير عندك الكافل اوبننج اللي هو at the level of T8 والأيورتيك ليفل اللي هو الأيورتيك هيتس اللي هو at the level of T12 فالإيسوفيجيال اوبننج in the diaphragm وحتى بوقتها وضحنا إنه it is through the muscular part of the diaphragm the إنه it needs to be added to the sphincteric control of the esophagus. What are the structures that pass with the esophagus through the esophageal hiatus? In addition to the esophagus, I have the vagal trunks, اللي هو right and left vagal. اللي هو anterior and posterior vagal trunks اوكي راح نجي نشرح النيرف سبلاي اوف ذا ستومك راح نذكرهم ونذكر مين مصدرهم بس هسه انت ويا الايسوفاجس يو هاف ذا فيجال ترانكس جاستريك فيجال ترانكس اند اولسو يو هاف ايسوفاجيال برانشز فروم ذا ليفت جاستريك ارتري ذيز ار ذا ستراكشرز ذات باس ثرو ذا ايسوفاجيال هياتس The abdominal esophagus it is about 1.25 centimeter in length. يعني من كل هاي 25 سنتيمتر of the esophagus only 1.25 واحد وربع تقريبا سنتيمتر is present in the abdomen. It is called here the abdominal part of the esophagus, and it is covered here with serosa. It is covered by a layer of peritoneum. بينما هناك بالثراسيك بارت it is covered by adventitia okay لأنه it is stuck against the wall or covered only by connective tissue anterior فيسموه adventitia لكن in the abdomen it will be covered this part will be covered by a serosa okay نجي حتى نكمل معلوماتنا على الإيسوفيجس anatomically it has no anatomical sphincters I want you to understand this it has constrictions it has four constrictions من بداية النهاية the first constriction is at its junction with the pharynx so it is called esophageo-pharyngeal constriction وإذا تسألني على عضلة اللي مسؤولة عنها هي الكريكو-pharyngeous muscle The cricopharyngeal muscle here and the masula and this constriction there. Then when you descend downward into nasal mufog, rahila gina another constriction illi huwa of the aortic arch. When you feel aortic arch bending, it will cause a slight constriction at that region. Then descending downward, I will find another constriction with which is of the left bronchus. احنا عندنا التراكيا و it divide into two primary bronchi the left primary bronchi will cause also a third constriction descending downward through its entrance to the stomach also I have a constriction which is called the cardiac sphincter the cardiac sphincter esophageal cardiac sphincter أو esophageal gastric sphincter okay فصار عندك four anatomical constrictions if you are asked that is there uh, sphincters in the esophagus we say anatomically no but physiologically yes اللي هو الكارديو الفرنج يعني ال الإيسوفيجيو فارنجيال والإيسوفيجيو غاستريك are regarded as physiological sphincters تمام؟ هاي نخليها بالها يعني هسا هاي الأربعة اللي عددتهن هن the four constrictors من أقول what are the four constrictors of the إيسوفيجس هن عدت هذني الأربعة اللي على طول الإيسوفيجس نلقاها موجودة طبعا it is a muscular tube if we are asked about the type of the muscle of the esophagus and will it is divided into three thirds the upper third is a skeletal type the middle third is smooth and skeletal the lower third is completely smooth if we want to understand the esophagus we should know it is always collapsed it is only opened when the bolus of the food uh, is swallowed through it towards the stomach. 
if we want to understand the esophagus there is no step of digestion occurs in it mind the absorption bill esophagus it is only a transport from the mouth to the uh, stomach okay this is regarding the esophagus there is an important clinically يعني, uh, if we come in, in to its uh, abdominal part of the esophagus مثلا, in the blood supply of it it comes from the left gastric artery I have the left gastric artery will send esophageal branches if we want to understand the venous drainage of it it has a venous drainage to two sources one of them to the left gastric vein so to the portal vein fed to the portal system and one of them is to the uh, azygous vein to the azygous vein to the superior vena cava okay so it will to the systemic circulation so the abdominal part of the esophagus is very important clinically because it has a portosystemic junction or uh, communication there are some regions in the digestive system that has a connection between the portal system and the circulatory system general system okay for this connection clinically if it is damaged or injured there could be clinical symptoms and signs leading to some of the pathological conditions that in the clinical anatomy i will mention digestive system organ organ clinically diseases or pathological uh, forms present and how will nifham anatomy for the abdominal part of the esophagus uh, if we come to uh, discuss the blood supply of it we should be uh, known now that there is a portosystemic uh, anastomosis and communication uh, within this uh, part and the level esophagus diaphragm at the level of t10 stomach through the cardiac region at the level of t11 okay t10 t11 it is behind which costal cartilage behind which costal cartilage here we will find that uh, uh, part of the stomach and the cardiac region is covered behind the costal margin, the left costal margin. The, if you are asked at this junction, in some the cardiac junction, uh, uh, be, uh, behind which level in Gul costal cartilage, it is behind the seventh left, seventh costal cartilage and move immediately towards the left side let's see that I say like which vertebral level t11 which costal cartilage seventh costal cartilage okay how the in Kali happen that's how it's off now in the blood supply or lymphatic drainage within the stomach right here or after she to the celiac إلى السيليك لينف نود النيرف سبلاي اوف ات ات ويل ات يعني هذا البارت هو يكون سموث باي اوتونوميك نيرف سيستم باي سيمباثيك اند بارا سيمباثيك سيستم ثرو ذا سيبلانيك نيك جريتر سيبلانيك نيك نيرف اللي هو ينطيني السيمباثيك وثرو ذا فيجاس ينطيني البارا سيمباثيك نيجي بالنسبه للكلينيكال نوتس اباوت ذا ابدومينال ايسوفيجاس أم يعني قبل إحنا كنا بالظروف الاعتيادية نطلب من الطلبة إنه بالعمل يسوون سيمينارات about these يعني just to describe them read about them for your interest you should know that I have uh, esophageal varices, esophageal hiatal hernia, esophageal carcinoma, and esophageal achalasia. حتى نفهم شنو هذني الأربعة 
انا ما راح طبعا احنا ما ندخل الى شرح كل واحد من عندهم هاو تو مانج اند هاو تو تريت بات اناتوميكلي لازم تعرف انه الفاريسيز هي عباره عن دايليتد فينز وبما انه انا قلت لك الابدومينال ايسوفاجس از ا ريجن اوف ا بورتو سيستميك اناستوموسيس سو اف ذير از بورتال هايبرتنشن or any other disease that causes portal hypertension, I could have a condition called the esophageal varices, يعني دوالي المريء نسميها دوالي المريء من تجي هاي الصورة مالتها باوع هذه الصورة اللي راح تشوفوها the veins there will be dilated and uh, towards the lumen it will be like grape-like structure uh, and it is very uh, sensitive because uh, any rupture and it any Uh, lesion of it will cause hematemesis, يعني bleeding of a blood through the mouth. يبتي ي vomit blood. For one of the signs that if we uh, found a patient that vomits fresh blood, until got fresh blood, could indicate a case of esophageal varices. هذه هي دوالي المريء. من تجي esophageal hiatal hernia. Hiatal hernia. The hernia يعني الفتق. Hiatal, يعني through the esophageal hiatus, through فتحة الإسوفيجس. ممكننا at the level of T10. ف sometimes the يصير بيها مرتخية. فهنا راح يصير part of the abdominal esophagus will ascend upward, or even sometimes part of the stomach also will pass through according to the severity uh, degree of uh, severity of this disease. So it will cause an hiatal. Uh, hernia نسميها الفتق uh, هناك وطبعا this is uh, very distinguishable by barium meal يعني من يشربون المريض الصبغة حتى أشعة ملونة تصير ياخذوها uh, it is seen very uh, easily this is the hiatal hernia من نيجي الإسوفيجيال كارسينوما احنا any site in the digestive tract that will, will be an absolute transition from one uh, lining to another. يعني أنا معلمتك إنه region of the esophagus لأنه B friction فيكون stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. لكن the lining epithelium of the stomach is of simple columnar type. فرح يصير يعني absolute transition from one type of a tissue to another type of a tissue. فهذا ال immediate skip ممكن يكون side of an um, CA إذا صار بيفد apoptosis or sometimes if continuous uh, uh, reflux of the stomach to the st uh, to the esophagus. دائما إحنا سامعين ب uh, الجالي. هذه الجالي اللي تصير فthis if not a treatment and continuous and severe could lead to an uh, erosion that occurs to the lining epithelium of the esophagus leading to uh, يصير تغيير on uh, uh, and in predisposing patients طبعا إذا patient predisposed to have a hereditary طبعا factors he could develop an esophageal uh, carcinoma عندنا uh, إيسوفيجيال أكليجيا uh, The إيسوفيجاس هذا الأكليجيا اللي هو There is a neuromuscular in coordination at the lower part of the إيسوفيجاس يعني صار فد uh, disconnect between the neuronal and the muscular part of the إيسوفيجاس This is usually congenital and uh, For, uh, could be acquired but for a rare extent فش راح يصير عندنا راح يصير uh, absolute structure or constriction of the lower part of the esophagus فهنا uh, راح cause pain with the swallowing يعني من يبلع يصير عنده ألم طبعا بالأخير و um, also uh, continuous will lead to a dilatation of the upper part The upper part of the esophagus above the constricted area will be dilated in chronic uh, cases. So this is also uh, catched by an X-ray by a meal, alien by barium meal, or a, a clinical condition that they apply it. They call it rat tail, rat tail uh, figure. يعني من رح يأخذون صورة لل 
اكس راي راح تبين كانما دايليتد بارت وبعدين فيري نارو ثين بارت مثل ذيل الفاره فراح يسموه ذا رات تيل فيجر ذس از اكليجيا وطبعا ات از تريتد اونلي باي سيرجري ات از تريتد باي سيرجري يعني ان موست اوف اتس cases this is the clinical anatomy and all uh, what is about the abdominal part of the esophagus now we will come to another organ which is one of the important organs in our digestive system called the stomach or the gastric uh, the stomach is the most distensible part of the digestive system it is a muscular uh, bag and it consists aslan of a three layers an oblique and circular and longitudinal layer of muscle all of it the function of the stomach is to uh, digest uh, move the food inside break it breaking it down into uh, the chyme. The chyme will then be transformed into the duodenum for further digestion and absorption. And uh, the stomach differs from one person and uh, another anatomically. Um, if we come يعني, to uh, describe the site of it, we will say it is uh, present in the epigastric and left hypochondriac region with the umbilical region. And uh, طبعا, in obese person, it is uh, present horizontally. In long, uh, tall, thin person, uh, sometimes the race مالتهم يكون African type. يعني جماعة هذول الأفارقة السود الطوال الضخمين sometimes we can find their stomach even descending down to the pubic region يعني أم أنا أكو هيك شيء ممكن يظهر ف when it is empty it is J shape when it is full it becomes يعني in according إلى السعة مالتها السعة مالتها ال capacity of the stomach begins from 30 ml اللي هي 1 ounce شايفين هذا الرقم الواحد اللي يصير بالنونو بالبيبي بالممة مال البيبي رقم واحد هاي سعة الستومك بالبداية تبدي هيجي بعدين الله يوفقه من يصير بالبيوبرتي reaches about 1000 ml يعني تقريبا لترة وبعدين it can reach up to two liters one and a half and uh, two liters بس من نجي نصف capacity anatomically they say it, it, it is about 1500 uh, mils لتر ونص تقريبا والحجم مالته من يجون نصفه بالسنتيمترات هم من يقولون انه uh, about uh, 25 سنتيمتر uh, باللينث It is divided into parts. من نجي ها طبعا قبل ما أجي على parts ما له تباوع بما إنه هذا السلايد عندك ظاهر. The interior of the stomach is folded. يعني ال inside the membrane ما له تبدأ داخل يكون folded into layers. نسميها هذه the rugae. Rugae. Okay. يسموها rugae أو the rugae. فthese rugae will Uh, disappear with distension. يعني when it is stomach is empty, it will appear. When it is full, it will disappear. شنو فائدة هذا الروجاي? It is for increasing the surface area of the stomach. If I want to describe the stomach, whether it is an intra or an extra peri uh, peritoneal organ, it is an intra peritoneal organ. يعني whether it is an intra or retro نقول it is an intra peritoneal organ it is covered by peritoneum وهسا نجي نوضحها نكمل ال interior مالته من الداخل باوع احنا it has at this region near the lesser curvature طبعا I should mention that it has a lesser curvature and it has اللي هو to the right And it has a greater curvature, an outer convex greater curvature. Okay, من تجين على region internally, which is near the lesser curvature. This is called the gastric canal. هذا رح نسميه the gastric canal. It is a region. انت انتبه على هاي الجملة رح أقولها لأنه it is important clinically. It is a region where the drinks, whatever you drink. It will exactly fall at this region. So any insult, 
can appear at this region. فاحنا لذلك be aware of what you drink. يعني when you drink something دائما ينصحونا don't drink very cold, don't drink very hot. طبعا جماعة الكهوليك drinking هذورا قصة أخرى. Uh, whatever you drink, the insult of injury of the drinks that you take, it will be appeared at the gastric canal. Okay, so that will describe for us for us why uh, the gastric ulcers or the peptic peptic ulcers is present here. يعني عادة من تجي على تقرحات المعدة رح تلقاها موجودة بهذه الريجن. You will find it in the gastric canal. أوكي يجي هذا التفسير ما له ترح يكون تشريح حلو حلو إحنا هسه من نبدي نفهم التشريح ونربطه بالكلينيكال هو هو هذا المتعة مال الطب صراحة إنه تحاول you try to understand what is going on ما يحتاج الشغلة دائما ندرخ هواية أشياء ندرخها لكن لازم هواية أشياء نفهمها وأعتقد اللي نفهمها تبقى بالنا أكثر من اللي ندرخها. زين نيجي على التقسيم مالته طبعا هاي البوزيشن اوف ذا ستومك يعني ان ذا ابدومن من نيجي تقسيم من نيجي نريد ان تو ديفايد ذا ستومك ات از ديفايدد انتو سيفرال بارتس اوكي باي ان ايماجيناري لاينز طبعا باي ان ايماجيناري لاينز با ات ذا ليسر كيرفيتشر Niji, the most dependent part of it is called the angular notch or incisura angularis or angular incisura. Okay, each is a maikun. From this notch, they draw a line to the greater curvature. They will divide the stomach into two parts this upper great part, and this lower part. بنيجي على the great part ترى بعض من الكتب راح يسموه هذا كله the cardiac part وبعدين يقول لك the cardiac part is divided into two parts the fundus and the body okay other books other يعني text يعني خاف تروح تسج مو تجي uh, تعترض other books say ما يذكر هذا the cardiac part لأنه the cardiac part يعتبر the region of the junction of the esophagus to the stomach. They call it the cardiac junction. This is more to clinically. هذا أكثر الشرح اللي قلته هذا clinical إنه the cardiac region هو ربط الإسوفيجس هو region من يدخل الإسوفيجس to the stomach. نرجع. The body and the fundus are divided into عندك At the region, at the junction of the esophagus with the stomach, I have also a notch called the cardiac notch. From the cardiac notch, they draw an imaginary line to the greater curvature, dividing this greater cardiac part ila body below, which is greater, and the fundus above, which is a dumb shape. The dumb shape fundus is where the gas will be accumulated. And this is seen on X-ray. يعني by X-ray when you find a gas level, air gas level, يعني air fluid level, this is the region of the fundus. The body part هذا كله اللي هو طبعا راح يصير بي churning واللي راح يصير بي digestion واللي راح يصير بي. وبعدين عدنا نرجع to the lower part. The lower part بوا from نفسه the angular incisura من نفسه. At the region of a constriction, a kubnaka slight constricted area, okay, where the pre-pyloric vein of myo is present. يعني من تجي على هاي هذا بالضبط هنا وراسمين إحنا على فد مودي راسمين vein وقايلين identify this vein. هو pre-pyloric vein of myo. It will divide beneath it. طبعا the part. Will be divided. يعني this lower part will be divided into the pyloric antrum and the pyloric canal. The pyloric antrum معلق بالصورة, but the pyloric antrum is larger. It is 7.5 centimeter. The pyloric canal is smaller. It is 2.5 centimeter. The pyloric antrum is the region where a lot of parietal cells is present. 
The pyloric canal is a region where pyloric sphincter is present. The pyloric sphincter is uh, anatomical sphincter and it is a sphincter that uh, uh, controls the passage of the chyme, a fluid of the uh, gastric uh, digestive food from the stomach to the duodenum. فنسمي the pyloric sphincter. Okay. فهسا صار عندنا the regions of the stomach. We should understand there is a fundus, there is a body, there is a pylorus, which is divided into pyloric antrum and the pyloric canal. The cardia region is the region of constrict uh, region of entrance of the esophagus to the uh, body of the stomach. Okay. Also, we should know that we, I have a lesser curvature with uh, angular incisura angularis and a greater curvature, which its beginning begins with the cardiac notch. Okay. These are the parts of the stomach. Hadi bidun, yani mu diagrammatically, we can understand it also from uh, here. طبعا the middle احنا هذه the three layers three uh, muscular layers اللي هي smooth layers the middle uh, circular layer is responsible thickened at the pyloric region responsible for the pyloric sphincter فمن نسأل على مصدر the pyloric sphincter هي مين نقول from the middle circular layer of the uh, stomach You can يعني, see the slides in uh, different slides in different uh, views can be uh, seen. نيجي بالنسبة إلى ال uh, uh, relations. When we describe the stomach, we will say uh, has a كل organ نصفة نقول إنه أكو peritoneal relations و أكو visceral relations. Peritoneal relations I mean whether it is covered by peritoneal or not. And what are the ligaments that they are attached to? احنا كلنا نعرف انه the viscera with uh, its يعني كل الviscera اللي موجودة بالابدومن are close intact with each, each other covered whether partially, partially or completely by peritoneum but also it has these peritoneal layers are thickened at certain regions acting as ligaments to connect these organs to the wall or connect it to a nearby organ or connect it to a structure so it will be called ligaments so i have peritoneal folds and i have peritoneal ligaments about the stomach i have at the lesser curvature احنا الاستومك قلنا هو عباره عن muscular bag وقلنا it is an intraperitoneal organ من راح يجي البيريتونيوم يغطي الاستومك it will cover it it will be reflected at the lesser curvature يعني يجي البيريتونيوم يغطي الاستومك وعلى the lesser curvature يطلع كبيريتونيال فولد <coughs> اسميه the lesser omentum ومن ال greater curvature يطلع كفولد اسميه the greater omentum من نجي كلمة أومنتم هو the peritoneal fold to the stomach خلص نقطة راسطة يعني كلمة أومنتم ما رح نطلق على peritoneal fold of another organ كل organ عندنا تقدر واللي طبعا لعظمته واللي مكانته واللي function مالته واللي أهميته فال peritoneal folds اللي رح تحيط بي أيضا رح تكون لها مسميات خاصة بهذا الأورجان فمن أجيب اسم lesser omentum I mean it is the peritoneal fold of the stomach arising from the lesser curvature where does it end هي مهمة إنه أنت سفتهمت هي بدت من ال lesser curvature when تنتهي it will end to the liver at a region called porta hepatis هناك من رح نوصل الليفر رح نوضحها وين ال boundaries مالته so it will be folding the stomach and will be 
ended at the liver. Min tiji al greater omentum, it will be formed from the greater curvature of the stomach, descending downward, in tibah al al kerima, descending downward as a fold of peritoneum al kul al abdominal cavity. بداية الأبدومينال كافيتي من تجي تفتح الأبدومين أول لير رح يجيك بالك هو الجريتر أومنتم حتى يكون مليان شحم it is a, a, a layer where the fat will be deposited a lot and it will return back return backwards uh, until it reaches to the posterior abdominal wall وبعدين من رح نجي نوضح البنكرياس نقول هي والترانس بيز ميزو كولون نوضح الجريتر أومنتم شو رح يخلص هناك Okay, فهسصار عندك the greater omentum also is a fold of peritoneum hanging down. طبعا when it hanged down in the peritoneal cavity, here it will be have a name clinically called the policeman of the abdomen. Policeman of the abdomen مثل الشرطي لأنه the first defense mechanism. Uh, to uh, protect the underlying uh, viscera present in the peritoneal uh, cavity. So I have the lesser omentum and I have the greater omentum. Niji, what are the ligaments? The ligaments, the lesser omentum, the greater omentum. The ligaments at the same Omentum, يعني هو نفسه the lesser omentum من تيجي عليه أكو regions بي اتخنت فكونت لي ligaments two ligaments you will find at this region من اسمه واحد اسمه gastrohepatic ligament هياته hepatogastric ligament يعني أيضا رايح to the liver والآخر رح يتسمى uh, hepatodudinal ligament اللي هو رح يجي from the liver to the duodenum Okay, for how the ligaments of the lesser omentum. Niji, uh, the greater omentum, I will have a ligament that will connect, connect the fundus region, we get the fundus region, to the uh, to the diaphragm behind diaphragm. For he is called gastrophrenic ligament. Phrenic or the name Latin for diaphragm. Gastrophrenic ligament. راح يطلع عندي ligament to the spleen. راح نسمي gastrocyclinic ligament. Okay. طبعا these ligaments are important not only for attachment to the surrounding viscera, but also it can act as a conduit for the passage of the vessels and the nerves. كنا نعرف إنه من خلالهن ممكن إنه تمر ال uh, nerves and the vessels to the uh, subjected organ. So I have the gastrocyclinic ligament. Also I have شوف هذا ligament to the uh, colic uh, إلى الكولون فرح يسمو gastrocolic ligament. So صار عندي gastrophrenic, gastrocyclinic and gastrocolic ligament. Greater omentum, lesser omentum, hepatogastric ligament, and the hepatodudinal. Hada tara iruh to the first part of the duodenum. Yani, but they mention it li anhu a part of the lesser omentum. The part of the lesser omentum. These are the peritoneal relations of the stomach. Niji visceral relations. Visceral hada hada tawdih lili gilta. نيجي للفيزرال ريليشنز وات ار ريليتد تو ذا ستومك انتيريورلي كنا اذا نريد نتخيل موجود راح موجود عندي الانتيرير ابدومينال وول دايفرام راح يكون عندي موجود هذه انتيريورلي بوستيريورلي بوستيرير تو ذا ستومك هنا خلينا نوقف شويه To be aware about, behind the stomach there is a space which is called the lesser sac. Ushaku in front of the stomach rah it sama the greater sac. Okay? So behind the stomach, this space is called the lesser sac, or rah it sama the omental, and behind the lesser omental, rah it sama omental bursa. Omental bursa. The structures that lies behind this cavity and behind the stomach will be called the stomach bed structures okay so, the posterior relation 
of the stomach. من تيجي تعددهم هم ترى سبعة يعني they are seven in number. I will try to enumerate them. Uh, I, we have the diaphragm. Diaphragm هم هنا posteriorly موجود. I have the left kidney and the left uh, adrenal also. I have the transverse mesocolon. The transverse mesocolon هو عبارة عن the peritoneal fold of the transverse colon. I have the pancreas also and the splenic artery. عندنا أيضا the splenic artery من ضمن the contents of the uh, stomach bed. Okay. طبعا the gastric vessels أيضا تكون موجودة. So if you try to illustrate the Uh, stomach bed structures we mean the posterior relation of the stomach we mean the structures which are present behind the omental bursa يعني behind the lesser sac lesser sac و greater sac من رح نجي نوضح ال peritoneal cavity و ال peritoneal spaces رح تكون more oriented uh, about it this is regarding the uh, structural Uh, relations of the stomach. If we come to the blood supply of the stomach, the uh, we all know the main blood supply. One of the main blood supply in the abdominal aorta is the celiac trunk. Celiac trunk and uh, short trunk, but it is main and it will give several branches to several nearby organs. Power. أول واحد راح يطلع من عندهم هذا راح نسميه the left gastric artery. مثل ما قلت أكو left معناها أكو right من تجي right مين رح يطلع إحنا من السيليك trunk عندنا واحد أبي نسميه the spleenic هذا اللي رح يروح to the spleen اللي هو highly tortuous ترى يكون آه وعندنا واحد أبي آخر هذا نسميه common hepatic the common hepatic will divide into proper hepatic artery and gastrodudinal artery. In the proper hepatic artery, there will be a rise of the right gastric artery. Right gastric artery with the left gastric artery. معناها the left gastric is directly from the celiac trunk, while the right gastric is from the proper hepatic artery. إذا طلع من the common hepatic artery, مو مشكلة. هذا anatomical variation. Could be. could arise from the common hepatic. بس احنا نحكي على general, the main, يطلع من the proper hepatic artery, right gastric and left gastric artery will meet together up on the lesser curvature. يعني اثنيناتهم يرحون at the region of the lesser curvature of the stomach and will anastomose there. Okay? زين. I have another main supply to the stomach, which is called gastroepipluic. Gastroepipluic uh, artery, I have a left gastroepipluic, اللي هو arising from the splenic artery. مثل ما قلت left and the right gastroepipluic, اللي هو arising from the gastroduodenal artery. Gastroduodenal artery. فصار عندنا these two right and left gastroepipluic artery will anastomose and طبعا will be on the whole greater curvature of the stomach and anastomose there. Is there another blood supply? Yes, there is other branches called the short gastric arteries, not appeared here, نعم بين, but the short gastric arteries arise as short branches بالضبط هنا from the splenic artery. من السبلينيك آرتري رح يطلع حتى نكمل المعلومة مال البلد سبلاي from the left gastric artery باوع يطلع عندي the esophageal branches which will supply the lower abdominal esophageal part of the esophagus okay وهذه صار عندنا right and left gastric right and left gastroepipluic and the short gastric arteries these are the blood supply Uh, in, in, in arterial blood supply of the stomach. The venous is corresponding, يعني carrying the same names, نفس الأسامي هاي القناها, بس راح تصير veins. But I want you to understand that the venous drainage of the stomach ultimately كله راح يروح to the portal system. راح يروح to the portal system. عندنا آخر شيء يروح to the portal 
vein طبعا through the portal vein and the superior mesenteric vein the veins uh, ultimately uh, from the stomach this is regarding the blood supply of the stomach هذا كلش حلوه السلايد تراي تو ريد ات شارح تقريبا كل شيء كل الفيزلز whether arteries or veins to the stomach what is important about the lymphatic drainage of the stomach is طبعاً the, the gastric CA any cancer we have it can be metastasized by the lymph by the lymph number one by the blood also venous uh, number two but by the lymphatic drainage um, we should understand uh, that uh, the stomach has different lymph groups some of them is called pancreatic or renal some of them is called superior gastric group prepyloric group pyloric group suprapyloric infrapyloric gastroepipleuic uh, lymph nodes كل هذه lymph nodes موجوده داير ما داير للستومك ultimately all of them all of them يعني هي حتى من يجي clinically يقسم الستومك راح يقسمه الى territory A and B and C and D ويقول لك A to the superior pancreatic duodenal lymph nodes وال D الى pre-pyloric lymph nodes don't يعني enter to this detail بس I want you to know that the stomach is divided into territories from A to D it has several lymph node groups called uh, pancreatic or renal pre-pyloric, pyloric, superior pyloric, gastroepipleuic, ultimately all of them, all of them at the end will uh, drain into the celiac lymph node. إلى celiac lymph node. دائما آخر شيء إحنا متعلمين غشوشة مال امتحان إنه إذا تيه اللمف اتبع الارتري. يعني دائما اتبع إلى مصدر الارتري رح توصل إلى اللمف. يعني وطبعا منا كم من السيليك لينف ترانك الى الانتستينال لينف ترانك الى سيسترنا كايلي حتى يعبر ثرو ذا ثوراسيك دكت وريتيرن باك تمام وات از امبورتنت كلينيكلي بما انه قلتها انه اريدك تعرف انه ذا جاستريك سي اي يعني ستومك كانسر جاستريك كانسر كلينيكلي ات اكيرز وي ويل فايند ذا لامب ات ذا جريتر كيرفيتشر مو معناها انه ما نلقى غير ريجنز بس وي ار توكينج اباوت ذا مينلي وايضا اكو فد تقارير تقول انه هو هاز بلود جروب اي بوزيتيف هو مور بريديسبوز تو هاف جاستريك سي اي هاي همينه وحده من التقارير انه طبعا هيريديتري فاكتور لها كلش امبورتنت رول اباوت ات وي اول نو ذات سموكينج از ون اوف ذا بريديسبوزينج جنرال بريديسبوزينج فاكتور اوف كانسر predisposition okay for how they regarding the lymphatic uh, drainage edgy على the stomach innervation the stomach innervation uh, autonomic nervous system sympathetic and parasympathetic the sympathetic is by the sympathetic fibers from greater cyplanicnic nil greater cyplanicnic el parasympathetic is from the vagus el vagus هنا حتى من هسه نقطة وراس سطر ونخصمها نقول انه the vagus راح نضل نقول parasympathetic parasympathetic to the digestive tract الى الجنكشن of uh, يعني الى الكولون الجنكشن of the transverse colon of the uh, right two third with the left one third هناك راح يتبدل اوكي فراح نضل نقول the vagus vagus يعني يعني اريد اقولها الى الجنكشن of the mid gut to the hind gut يخلص عندنا الفيجاس نيرف فالفيجاس از ريسبونسيبل فور ذا باراسيمباثيتيك باراسيمباثيتيك بارت تو ذا ستومك بس هاو ثرو تو برانشز باو ان ذا ثوراكس تذكر كان عندي ذا فيجاس نيرف الفيجاس العظيم يمشي الفيجاس يمشي الفيجاس از رايت اند ليفت ضل اسمه رايت اند ليفت حتى اني uh, اتذكر انه قلت لك ات ذا روت اوف ذا لونج and the nerve in front and nerve behind the nerve in front get nephrenically to the diaphragm and nerve behind to the vagus the nerve behind is called right vagus left vagus right vagus left vagus is called the right thorax until it gets to the esophageal hiatus in the esophageal hiatus and due to developmental embryologically 
راح تصير فد لوفه موجوده فالرايت ويل بيكم بوستيرير اند ذا ليفت ويل بيكم انتيرير وهنا راح نسميه فيجل ترنك فصار عندي انتيرير فيجل ترنك اللي هو اساسا ليفت فيجل سنير وصار عندي بوستيرير فيجل ترنك اللي هو اساسا رايت فيجل سنير فهمناها يعني رايت اند ليفت فيجل and due to developmental uh, conditions it will be transformed through the esophageal hiatus راح يتسمى هناك بس يعبر الاسوفاجس راح يتسمى gastric trunk vagal gastric trunk anterior vagal trunk and posterior vagal trunk anterior مصدر left vagus و posterior مصدر right vagus ها هي هاي بعد ما عيتها وكلش مهمة بس عدنا Each vagal trunk, مو معناها it is a single. It also had has branches. يعني the anterior vagal trunk and several branches, two to three. The posterior vagal and several branches, two to three. طبعا the anterior will supply the anterior surface of the stomach. The posterior will supply the posterior surface of the stomach. It is important because in some surgical operations they do vagotomy. They go at one of these branches in order to treat chronic cases, for example, of gastric or peptic ulcer or treatment of some of the pathological diseases of the stomach. They do vagotomy. يروحون at that vagal trunk, one of its trunks, and they ligate it in order to prevent its effect. نيجي نرجع هسا هذا parasympathetic وذا ذا كشان sympathetic. The sympathetic أريدك تعرف it is from T6 to T10 تقريبا أكو كتب يقول from T5 to T10 ما نعترض بس أريدك تعرف إنه the pain sensation of the stomach is traversed by the sympathetic innervation يعني إحنا كنا نعرف إنه sympathetic and parasympathetic to the stomach what is its function the sympathetic is for vasomotor A sympathetic is for a constriction of the sphincters, يعني for the pyloric sphincter. حتى ينسد. The parasympathetic, it will act for secretomotor for the glands to be secreted, and for peristaltic movements. Okay, حتى يصير function حتى movement of the duct of the tract حتى يصير digestion to complete the digestion. تمام؟ نيجي The pain is conveyed by the sympathetic part through the uh, sections of T6 to T10 لذلك إحنا عندنا The pain of the stomach هاي نرجع نربطها clinically The pain of the stomach is felt in the epigastric region لأن هسا إحنا كلنا عرفنا إنه the layer and the dermatome and the umbilicus is T10 صحيح؟ And what is above is T9. For the pain of the stomach, when I have a pain in the stomach, it will be felt at the epigastric region because of the sympathetic innervation of the stomach is from T6 to T10, and the pain is conveyed by this sympathetic part. Okay, this is regarding the nerve supply. Clinical anatomy of the stomach هذا the gastric pain أعتقد هسا شرحته وصفته ال gastric ulcer طبعا عندنا several types of ulcers in the stomach one of them is the peptic ulcer كنا نعرف إنه the stomach is lined by cells to secrete HCl and pepsinogen and if it is secreted in an abnormal way it will lead or sometimes due to bad habits or due to alcoholism or due to uh, insult, continuous insult to the uh, mucosal membrane of the uh, stomach, this could lead into erosion uh, at certain regions. We said mostly we can find it in the gastric canal, and if it is not treated, it could be chronic, uh, uh, considered one of the chronic diseases, very painful, and leading always to uh, pain at that region. Uh, this is the gastric ulcer. The stomach cancer همينا وصفته إنه usually you will find a lump and usually an A positive hereditary factor 
predisposing factors, we find it in the greater curvature of the stomach. The treated, uh, treatment of it according to the degree of the cancer, whether it is metastasized or not, and we have surgical uh, uh, intervention occurs to cancer with or without chemo and radiotherapy. In pyloric stenosis, we all said that the pyloric sphincter is a, a anatomical sphincter due to thickening of the middle circular layer of the stomach. Uh, this pyloric, uh, if it is over thickened, it will lead to uh, stenosis at the pyloric uh, region. And uh, this uh, usually is congenital and uh, it treated and it has a treatment several ways sometimes even to surgical uh, intervention this is a picture of a peptic ulcer who will ulcer to ibara and jarah ibara and wound you see be in the mucosal uh, membrane this is a picture of a pyloric uh, stenosis shuva shon thickened muscle for narrowing so when they will take a barium meal من يأخذون بارين ميل يعني يشربون الصبغة راح تشوفها بالضبط هيك distended stomach with a very thin line قوة uh, يعبر ال ال بارين الصبغة through this uh, constriction اللي موجودة thank you very much